Whether it's galaxies colliding, a new star forming, or something dreadful happening at the center of a black hole, these telescopic photos have allowed us to better understand the cosmic activities taking place outside of our solar system. However, there is more going on in space than meets the eye. The scientific community has assured us that there is more than one path to mastering astronomy. Hello, and welcome to today's episode of Space News Unfold in which we'll discuss how researchers are translating the universe's visible data into straight-up music. Converting numbers into music, astronomy has been depicted as a visual notion for a long time. Pictures from various telescopes or from NASA's space exploration have shown us the wonders of the universe and allowed us to learn about them. The use of photography is shown to be an efficient tool in the search for extraterrestrial life. There are other ways to learn about astronomy than watching movies or TV shows. The sonification system was developed in the year 1908. This idea has been revived because of several recent NASA initiatives, though. As a result, it is only through sonification that sounds can be transmitted through the void of space. Visual data can be converted into auditory representations and vice versa. Using non-speech, sounds to transmit information is called sonification, as defined by astronomer Matt Russo. In its infancy, data sonification has found use in a variety of scientific disciplines. One of the most promising applications of data sonification is in astronomy, where it can be used to help the visually impaired understand and explore interstellar photographs and other data. Various aspects, such as contrast and orientation, are present in digital photographs depicting astronomical occurrences. Sonification is the process of giving sound to digital images. By designating certain factors, acoustic features such as pitch and volume can be implemented. The image is translated from left to right, with each successive element being assigned a unique audio trait. Imagine a digital image of a galaxy being translated into sound. The noises made by the brightest objects in the image would be high in pitch and volume. Separate notes from stars could be heard, while nebulae emit a low-pitched buzzing sound, points in the image where nebula light brightest, or where black holes can be located in a similar fashion, also emit the loudest sounds. Sonification technology not only allows for the conversion of visual information to sound, but also allows for the conversion of extremely weak radio waves from outer space to sound. Short radio waves from faraway sources are called fast radio bursts, FIRBs, and they can be detected halfway across the galaxy. Extreme vigor characterizes FRBs. Although the signal power that reaches Earth is extremely low, sonification can assist enhance these signals. As demonstrated in this video, when nine bursts from a FIRB were turned into sounds, numerous times, NASA has used a telescopic image to create the sound of space. They relied heavily on Hubble telescope images for this purpose. You probably are aware that the James Webb Space Telescope is NASA's newest and priciest flagship observatory. As a result of JWST imagery, NASA will also be able to investigate a wide variety of fascinating sonic phenomena. In fact, NASA has been able to record the sound of a swirling black hole for the first time thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope. Take a listen with us. terrifying, it could come straight out of a horror movie. Cosmological mutterings, empirical evidence, many of NASA's latest endeavors focus on sonification. In fact, all of the government agency's data can be sonified. The Tycho supernova, the pillars of creation in the Eagle Nebula, the Bullet Cluster, and even the Sun are just some of the objects that have been sonified. NASA has a repository called a World of Sounds, where they keep recordings of various sonification initiatives, site where people can learn about things happening in space by listening to stories, things like stellar mergers, supernova explosions, the solar atmosphere, etc. All look very chaotic when viewed through telescopes. However, 
Sonification offers a truly original description of these occurrences. In 1995, NASA took an intriguing picture of a galaxy 7,000 light years from Earth. Using the Hubble Space Telescope, the pillars of creation depict elephant trunks made of cosmic gas and dust. Sonification of this image reveals a spectrum that includes both optical and X-ray frequencies. The image's accompanying sounds vividly portray a cosmic adventure. As you listen, you'll notice that the sounds change pitch as you move from left to right. The brighter areas of the image generate higher pitch cells, while the darker areas represented by the pillars. Generate lower pitch noises. Sonification of data from the Solar and Heliospheric Observatory SOHO, allows us to hear the sun's plasma flow and the eruptions it causes. You'd expect the noises to be more intense in a place where the temperature can reach 6,000 degrees Kelvin. The bullet cluster is another astronomical phenomenon that has been sonicized. As part of this study, the bullet cluster is made up of two colliding galaxies and is widely accepted as confirmation of dark matter. The blue area of the image creates a lower pitch when sonified than the pink area. The musical representation of a bullet cluster is one of the most intriguing cosmic sounds. The Milky Way is only about 600 million light years away from an out-of-the-ordinary galaxy. The pig's object is only slightly larger than the average human one. Over 100,000 light years in diameter, this galaxy is surrounded by a ring of stars of varying colors by scanning the image clockwise with radar. The image was transformed into one of the most evocative noises ever recorded in outer space. Data from distant galaxies have not been analyzed only through sonification. NASA has completed a number of solar system-wide sonification initiatives. We can acquire the closest feeling to actual rumbling on another planet by sonifying radio signals from another planet, as was done in 2020 with Venus's ionosphere, and again more recently with Mars's huge quakes. Besides the obvious benefit of having musicians pick up on facts of scientific relevance, sonification also provides a more flexible means of doing cluster analysis and studying star formation than is possible with visual media alone. The sonification technique can greatly improve the precision of cosmological study by capitalizing on our ear's sensitivity to variations in sound's frequency, intensity, timing, and position. Since astronomers began using data sonification to better understand the cosmos, it seems like every universe is suddenly bursting forth with its own unique melody, leaving many to wonder how astronomers can pick out the tunes from the Cosmic Music Festival. That's when the cocktail party effect kicks in. Just picture yourself at a party where everyone is speaking a language you don't know. Then, from only a few feet away, you pick up fragments of a conversation being held in your native tongue your mind automatically begins to focus on that dialogue, while simultaneously filtering out any background noise you are unable to decipher. The cocktail party effect is what we're talking about here. Concentration is the brain's skill at paying attention to one sound while ignoring others. Over the course of space travel, human perception has been tested to its limits. This causes the target stimuli to stand out less against the background of noise. Selective hearing is required to zero in on the target stimuli. There is a visual signature unique to each galaxy, planet, and universe. 
Information that may be expressed graphically can also be represented orally, as we all know. This means that the noises made by various astronomical objects can be differentiated based on their unique characteristics. The use of AI is a more efficient and effective method of navigating the vast landscape of space-based detections. A computer can detect extremely faint signals, such as quick radio bursts, if it is fed a signal template. The hitch is that AI can only recognize a stimulus so long as the source maintains its typical routines. If a signal ever becomes abnormal, it disappears into the void forever. Space exploration has been elevated to a new level thanks to data sonification, which has helped create a more accurate image of cosmic occurrences and, by extension, taught us more about the expansion and evolution of the universe. In terms of cosmic knowledge, the current generation has the upper hand. Yet, the whole definition of science is to test the bounds of what is known. One of the hypotheses upon which the current success of sonification efforts rests is that auditory information is processed by our brains more quickly than visual information. Further, unlike our eyes, our ears are sensitive to a far broader variety of stimuli. This means that listening to space is a lot more effective way to learn about it than looking at photographs. Scientists are investigating data sonification, which includes multidimensional data analysis, which entails examining the separate aspects of sound and their relationship to one another. Imagine two sounds, each of the same frequency, but coming from different places, like a trumpet and a saxophone, for instance. The human ear is capable of differentiating between the two sounds and assigning each to its respective instrument. Analysis of the data guarantees that the characteristics of the sources of sounds, such as location, material, pitch, volume, etc., are linked to the attributes of the sounds themselves. One should be able to tell the difference between sounds generated through sonification and their source depending on the quality of the sound with the help of more sophisticated technology and some training. The development of this technology means that in the future we will hear about many more astronomical marvels that are ideal candidates for sonification. Which sound from outer space was the most beautiful to you? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching this video until the end. If you liked it, please like and subscribe to our channel to stay updated of our newest video. We have another yet interesting space story ready for you. Click on the video on your screen and let us take you on to another space adventure. See you there!